Welcome back to the channel. I recently found an issue on the C10 that I had no idea was going on. Apparently the back end is moved over to the passenger side when it's driving down the road. So Lauren has taken some time today to give me a hand to see if I could catch this thing in the act. We're gonna hop in here and see if we can fix it. I'm not sure if that comes through on video, but uh, I could definitely see it when I was uh, chasing her in the Forerunner. The uh, the back end is moved over just a little bit, so there's I'm thinking a couple of different things we can look at to see if we could fix this. Now I do have a pan hard bar, and I had the truck aligned when I built it last year, but the alignment shot may not have fully centered the axle to the frame. Another thing could be the cross member I installed could be crooked, so we're gonna check on that. And the other thing which I'm really hoping is not the issue is that we could have a bent frame, which judging the condition on the truck, the body looks like trash, as you can see, but the frame's actually really, really straight, so I really doubt that the frame is bent. But I'm gonna jack this up, see if the rear end's centered in the frame and see what else we can find. I also have a sport bumper that I got for this truck. And I just picked up some brackets from AMD. So if we got time, I'll try to throw that on. Okay. To me, I think the, the rotor is gonna be probably the best spot to take a measurement. So uh, I'll come right behind here and the outside is 12 and a half inches to the outside of the rotor. Let's check the other side. So we took a measurement from the back. Well, it's, it's 12 and a half. So what the hell? Thought that was for sure gonna be it. Like, just hold it like right here. The very, very center of that. One, 15 and seven eighths. Let's go to the other side. It's like 114 and three quarter. I wonder if I have enough room to like tweak the axle with this, like move this up and maybe move that back a little. Because if each side moves like a half an inch, half an inch forward, half an inch back, we should be okay. So that's why it's constantly wanting to turn because if, if, if the rear axle's turned, then it's pushing. Well, like you just heard, something is tweaked on this truck. Now, the rear axle, the outside of the rotor is 12 and a half inches from the outside of the frame. So the outside of the frame to the outside of the, of the rotor is 12 and a half inches on both sides, but the hub to hub is 115 and 7 eighths on this side and 114 and 3 quarter on the other side. So the truck's almost like almost like a banana, which is why, like Lauren was saying, it kind of wants to float around into one side. And when I do burnouts, it kind of does the same thing. The back end kicks out to one side. I can't keep it straight. So something's definitely tweaked here. Now, I think I, think I know what it is. So originally, this truck was supposed to get a full brand new QA1 suspension with their uh, front cross member, the whole shebang, right? So I didn't really put a lot of thought into the suspension. When that deal fell through, I decided to just go with the cheapo kit that came with the truck and I got a, uh, a trailing arm cross member. I don't remember which brand it was, but it's adjustable. So you can adjust the angle of the pinion, the pinion angle through the control arms uh, to help with the drop. So I'm thinking that when that was installed, when I installed it, it may have gone in crooked. Now I put the fasteners in the original holes, which I thought would locate it. Um, which maybe it didn't. The other, other opinion, other possibility is that there's a bunch of body damage on the other side and maybe when this truck was hit, maybe it bananaed the frame a little bit, which if it did, that would be very unfortunate. That means I'd have a bent frame and I'd have to go buy like a Roadster Shop chassis or something to put under here, which gosh darn it, don't you hate it when that happens? Anyway, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to see how much adjustability I could get out of the rear trailing arm and see if I can just loosen up the U-bolts and twist it just a little bit, maybe a half inch on each side. I doubt it's gonna move that much. Uh, but honestly, if that doesn't fix it, I'm still gonna send it because the truck runs great. It just has that issue where, you know, it kind of wants to 
push over to one side. And when you're doing burnouts, trying to look cool, you know, if I'm sitting still, it's all good. But once I kind of let it go, it just boop, kicks out to one side. So let's see what we can do with this. Man, that sucks. Was able to get a little bit out of that. Uh, about a quarter inch on the uh, passenger side and about an eighth inch on the driver's side. But check this out. Under the truck here on the passenger side, I decided to take a measurement from the front cab mounts. I figured this would be a good anchor point. It should be on the same spot on each side. So I took a measurement from here back to the uh, trailing arm cross member. This is about a quarter inch forward, which would mean that that would explain why the rear axle is almost twisted in the frame. It's not the frame rails. It's, it's the actual uh, trailing arm cross member, which really sucks because this literally bolted right in place. So, you know, that's an oversight on my part. Unfortunately, I cannot move that cross member unless I take the cab off. The bolts that come down from the top, there's not enough room for them to come out. So I have to unbolt the cab, lift it up, then I can pull it out. And then even if I could do that, I can't get a drill in there to drill out any of the holes on the upper portion of the cab. So it's pretty much sitting where it's gonna sit. And that really, really sucks. But uh, anyway, that means I'm done for the day. And that tells me that this truck's getting the coilover suspension set up, hopefully sooner rather than later. But I do have one more thing to do. I actually got a new bumper, well, a used bumper and new bumper brackets from AMD. I just picked up these brand new rear bumper brackets from Auto Metal Direct when they had their OBS Summit at the actual AMD warehouse, which is awesome. They do shows there. You could drive up there and get parts for your ride. But then uh, Jamie Mays, actually a buddy of mine, uh, gave me this last year at the Daytona Beach Turkey Run. It's getting really hard to find these sport bumpers. So all I gotta do is straighten out this uh, license plate holder there. And uh, I think this is gonna look really good on the old C10. Got these brackets on. I think that's where they're supposed to be. It looks about right. So now gotta straighten out this bumper. See if we can get this thing on the truck. Well, I had to take a break and take my son to football practice. It's a lot nicer out now that the sun's going down a little bit. So what do we got here? Does that look like it lines up? I also got this master bolt kit when I was building this truck and it's been super handy when doing this stuff. Oh, we'll, just, we'll just go down like that. Yeah, yeah, that's good. All right. Yeah, look at that. While I was at football practice, I was sitting there thinking, oh, you know what? Those hangers for the uh, trailing arms are bolted onto the cross member. So if I wanted to, I could do like a, just cut out a flat plate, drill out where the bolt holes are, and then make a shim. Do like a 1 8 inch or 3 16 inch shim and see what that does with the rear end. But then I thought, you know what? If I fix it, it's gonna unmotivate me to get a coilover suspension. So I'm not gonna do that today. So we're just gonna, we're still just gonna end it with this bumper install. Is that right on the money? No, it's not. Would you look at that? Oh, both of these are like right on the money. Put this one in first. Yeah, this looks, I could already tell this looks great. Dude, that looks awesome. Well, we got the back end looking a lot better. Thanks to Jamie, I really appreciate it, man. And again, I'm sorry it took me so long to put this thing on. Oh yeah, check the shirt out. I got this over from Dewey's Speed Shop. He's got a YouTube channel and he builds some really, really cool stuff. But now that we figured out what's going on with the C10 and its suspension, I learned a big lesson today. When you're doing a frame off restoration, you wanna double and triple check your work to make sure everything is perfect, even if it bolts right into place. So that is 100% my fault, but it's motivated me to get a coilover suspension for this truck. I wanna do big brakes, I wanna do a turbo, I wanna do new wheels, I wanna get this truck running and driving like a freaking autocross truck, man. But anyway, it is getting dark. I got to get inside and make some dinner for the kiddos. I really appreciate you hanging around and watching this one. I'll see you in the next video.